Hey everyone, uh, thanks for coming to 302 Sobriety. I'm still living every day sober, one day at a time. And uh, sorry I haven't posted. I've been very busy with this move of mine going to the desert and uh, trying to build this adobe house. Uh, I've been uh, busy, at, but busy is not the word. Trying to take care of, you know, issues with this move. Uh, finally got my medical coverage that I needed uh, starts July 1st and that's uh, July 2nd is my closing so everything is falling into place uh, with my help of my higher power and the people that support me things have been working out really well I want to thank Robbie I want to thank Arnie I want to thank Rick Brandon uh, all the people, too many to mention, uh, supported me with this, my decision. Uh, it's been grueling. Uh, it's been hard to get my ducks in a row because I don't want to, you know, screw things up for myself. And I just keep keeping in my mind that it's God's will, God's way. When he's ready, he does it. And he's been giving me answers that I like to hear, but I always keep him uh, here uh, and I follow him. Uh, sometimes he's standing by my side, sometimes I'm, he's leading me, but he's never behind me. Uh, and if he is behind me, he's got my back. So uh, just to let you know, uh, I will be making this great move of mine and my journey, you can see it at Off Grid Rooster on YouTube. Check out that channel, like and subscribe this channel or that channel. Uh, I post mostly all my stuff of uh, this move uh, to make a new life for myself. In the other channel, the Off Grid Rooster channel, here is usually all about uh, sobriety, how I handle my sobriety. So it, it gets, it's hard, but not hard enough the way I used to make it. Everything was, uh, it's still about me, but I take the proper steps. Uh, and my foremost step in the front is my higher power and not to drink, not to get my mind all cloudy and messed up the way I used to have it. So, I want to thank, uh, again, everyone uh, for it. In one more week, I'm taking that ride up or ride to the west, southwest, and uh, start uh, preparing. I, I put a fan. If you look at my other channel, I installed the fan on the top of my roof of my van, Maria. To keep it cool because it's runs hot today I think it's 102 103 down there here where I'm at in Texas uh, near Houston is uh, 98 but it feels like a hundred ten it's very humid here the heat out there is dry so there's hardly any humidity and that's a danger and I have to keep myself hydrated all the time because you don't you don't sweat it uh, you're burning from inside and I just do what I got to do I just keep moving forward uh, talk to my people talk to Phil uh, which he's my, he's my sponsor so uh, it, it's, it's coming along I'm so excited you might not think I am but I am so excited uh, to have this opportunity to do things, you know. I'm not trying to catch up what I lost. I'm just trying to keep moving forward and live a, a good productive life for myself. Uh, with everything that's going on in this world, you know, I've been preparing and uh, I've never prepared. I just took things as they came, but never thought things out uh, and usually what works for me is I start at one point and then uh, calculate 
when I do something, I have to come back in a full circle. If it stops, like I think, well, I'm going to move and just go ahead and do it and just walk away. I'm not preparing. I'm just, I just, that was a thought that I didn't, I put into action without even thinking things out through. And that's how I was when I was uh, drinking out there. I didn't think things out. Everything was about me, screw everybody else. Uh, so I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm humbled by my life and everything that I, I've been going through. So, uh, you guys stay strong and sober one day at a time uh, you can do this I know if I can do it you can do it and it it's a good feeling and I don't need anybody to pat me on my back because I pat myself on my back I'm the one that gets myself out of a depressed mood it's hard work but it's a it's a thing that I have to say well instead of looking at the negative parts of what's going on and my uh, goals that are not working out I look at what is working out what am I doing right and count those blessings and everything else will come along I can't think about what's happening uh, what's going to happen because it's not here yet I'm only focusing on now what I can do uh, utilize the, the tools that I've learned in the fellowship and uh, my friends to, uh, that we hold each other together and that's the way I think it, sh it should be this is my opinion this is what works for me uh, I meet people out in the street you know I was helping this uh, little old lady she was coming out of the store and she had this big cooler and she seemed like she was struggling and uh, everybody's walking by her in the store and not helping her out there was a guy sitting in the front seat in the in the uh, passenger seat and I walked by and I said you need any help let me pick this up for you and put it in your, your package is empty and she looked at me she gave me this look like well she looked me up and down she looked at my tattoos she didn't say anything, and she just, she said, yes, I would appreciate it. And I lifted up, it was heavy. Put it in a car, got her bags, put it in the car. And I said, you have a good day. She said, uh, you taught me something. And I, I said, what did I teach you? She said, never judge a book by its cover. And it was my tattoos. So uh, that was a good feeling. And of course, who I am. I shouldn't have said it, but I did. And that's one of my defaults, you know, my, my personal defaults. I say what comes out sometimes into my head and straight out my mouth instead of putting it through the filter before I say it. Uh, the guy that was sitting in the driver's seat said, thanks a lot for helping her out. I said, you should be doing this. You're younger than she is. You should have been able helping her out. And uh, she looked at me, she says, you are so kind. She said, thank you for saying that. And I will never look and judge a book by its cover again. So with that, you know, be who you are, be yourself. And don't forget for every action, there's a reaction. So be careful. Sometimes you got to hold your tongue. You don't have to say it right then and there. You have to say it maybe later, if you have to say it. If you don't, just don't say anything. That's the way they are, you know? But uh, it surely worked out this time. I'm usually like quick uh, with my thinking in my mouth. And I appreciate uh, everything that's going on. So you guys appreciate the good things that happen in your life. Appreciate that you got a higher power, something that's stronger and bigger than you are. Whatever you decide it is, it could be a group of people that's bigger and stronger than you are. You know, the guidance, a little child could be stronger and bigger than you are because they might give you an honest opinion and the truth because they don't have a filter and they'll say something. Don't get angry at the child. Don't get angry at the messenger. You know, just adjust, adjust. That's the way they are. Maybe you needed to hear it at that time. Like, there's a lot of times I need to hear certain things, and uh, 
I don't, I don't like it. I don't like to hear that because it's the truth. So, but everything is fine. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, go to my Off Grid Rooster channel. And I'll see you again, and I'll post. Later.